And once I got my hand on the K2 Plus, I'll make that happen. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. This video, I'll be taking a closer look at Creality's new K2 Plus, their filament system, and their N3 V3, but mainly on the K2 Plus. It is officially announced by Creality themselves on their 10th anniversary. Let's scratch this topic. I know I did make a video on this a couple days ago, but they officially announced it, so I want to remake this video so we can take a closer look at their new 3D printers, their multicolor filament, and many other stuff. Today is the 10th anniversary of Creality announced their K2 Plus, their filament system, and their Ender 3 V3 plus the resin printers and uh, laser engraver. But we are just gonna be focusing on the K2 Plus and the filament system. This is so exciting, man! I can't wait to get my hand on this 3D printers and the multicolor. I, I can't imagine what things I can make. And let's take a closer look. I'm gonna be watching a little bit of the real Sam's preaching. I think that's how you pronounce it. I will leave this video link down below in his channel. So let's take a look at this and I will kind of walk through it. I'm not going to play the sound, just his video. Because he actually went to Creality and got a first look of their new printer. So let's go. One of the things that they addressed was the front glass. Um, they said that it's indestructible now, but hopefully it is. And they did do a testing, so I'm going to play this part right here. Put the volume up a little bit. You can hear how hard they smashed the door. That does seem pretty hard to be honest. They did do two more glass smashing. Good wow. God. Crazy, right? That looks insane if that's actually how strong the glass is now. One of the problems with people having. The door just break, like it's just sitting there and it just break for some people and some people close the door and it just broke. So this is a really, really good thing that Creality actually fixed this. Let's take a look inside the printer right here. So he opened the printer and show us the inside. If you look over here, right here, I believe that might be an auxiliary fan. It does have one on the other side too. So now it has both sides. So both sides has cooling now, which is a plus. Because sometimes on my K1 Max, I print big stuff, right? One side is really good. The other side is not the best because it does not have any cooling for high speed printing. And if we look here, it has one rod right here. It has two rod right here. And then the, the lead screw is in the middle, which is the same thing for the other side. That's very really nice. We have four rods so that the bed can move up and down and two lead screws. Not quite sure, but maybe both of those rods have independent motor so that it's more powerful other than just one motor on the K1 Max. They cover up the fan here and maybe put it on both sides. And the nozzle is a tri-metal nozzle, which is very nice. Oh, and it can heat up to 350 degrees Celsius and they say that it heats up really fast. It has a camera in there too. So right here, it's where the filament poops out. I have a couple of ideas of what to make and put it there. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to the channel. And once I got my hand on the K2 Plus, I'll make that happen. There's a USB-A on the side for the K2 Plus here. Oh, and by the way, the filament system from Creative is not a filament only. It's like a filament box dryer too. It has heating and it can track the humidity which is amazing yeah right there the filament just poop out okay so enough with that video i'm going to be jumping to creati's live stream that they did today and look at the spec of the k2 plus before we do that i'll take a look at the ender 3 v3 plus it's a 300 by 300 by 330 for the ender 3 v3 plus which is actually really cool that is bigger than the K1 Max actually. Wow. The price is only 479, which is good in my opinion because right now my Ender 3 V3 is printing amazingly. It's just that it's not big enough. And having a Ender 3 V3 that big and the print quality that good at 479, I think it's perfect. And once it goes on sale, it might be just 400. So that is basically the same price as the Ender 3 V3. So the K2 Plus, they advertise the dimension or the tolerance test. It goes all the way down to a 0.05 millimeter, which is amazing, right? I do find that true for the K1 Max I have here too, because I did an Ocar Slicer tolerance test and it does fit the 0.5 tolerance really nicely. It can even fit 0.0 tolerance which is crazy. And with this newer K2 Plus, I think it might be even better. Here is where things get really interesting. Flawless first layer with the next gen auto leveling. They say that your first layer is going to be perfect auto mesh leveling, which is pretty normal standard for every single 3D printer, I think these days. But getting a first layer like this is really hard on most 3D printers. You got to do lots of tuning. If out of the box, it can print this and print many parts first layer amazingly. Oh boy, do I think this K2 Plus will be the best 3D printers of 2024 and beyond. It also has tilt detections. If you twist it, it can still print really nicely. I'm just looking forward to the first layer, man. I love doing first layer tests on 3D printers. They also changed out the motor, which has a really high torque of 
that much micro steps per revolution. Hopefully this actually fixes the VFA that is causing a problem with the K1 Max right now. We can't see here, but the speed is essentially 600 millimeters per second and your acceleration is 30,000 millimeters per second square, which is <laughs> crazy. K1 Max is super fast. This one is even gonna be faster and it can print the Benchy at 10 minutes. And a really good quality too. Hopefully that's true, but 10 minutes for Benchy, dude, I cannot imagine what kind of project I can do in the future just rapidly printing stuff out and just prototyping it very fast oh my gosh dude 3d printing technology is getting crazier and crazier oh my gosh i can't wait for this 3d printer man it's also made from a solid frame made of a die cast parts which is the same as, as the k1 mac linear rail so it's gonna be more precise and there are ai detections for the k2 plus they say that it's gonna be a lot better but hopefully it is I don't really use the AI detection for my K1 Max, but it's really good to have it. And if it's actually good, I'm actually going to use it though. Okay, so right here we can see everything of the K2 Plus. Next generation auto leveling. Hopefully that is accurate and it can level the bed very nicely so that we don't have to worry about adding spacers, adjusting all the screw, doing belt pulling, stuff like that. So that it's just out of the box, print, and then that's it. Adding some extra mods if you wanted to. What's your color printing? Look at the dinosaur, that looks so cool. And the direct drive extruder. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I'll go and look for that part, but let's look at this one first. 600 millimeters per second, printing speed, and then acceleration 30,000 millimeters per second squared. A new motor, a build volume of 350 by 350 by 350. That is crazy big. AI yeah, detections, active, chamber heater that is a really nice feature to have because the kill max right now in order to get heat in there you just need to heat up the bed very hot and it takes a long time and now it has active heat chamber in there it's gonna be amazing now. here is what i want to look at their new direct drag extruder okay so i want you guys to listen to this part right here is he saying helical gears because if we look at the gear the gear are kind of cut it at an angle which is a helical gear so just listen for precise leveling as i just said it's helical gears it's made, made of hard yeah right there is he saying helical gear not, not quite sure but hopefully it is right the gear are made of hard and steel dlc coating and the filament right now sensor is integrated into there which is amazing in my opinion so you're going to be using all of your filament into only a little teeny tiny part of your filament left and their filament cut is inside of their extruder so it's gonna cut the filament retract and then load in a new filament and their leveling sensor is integrated into their hot end the extruder everything is compact into a very small package low rate of 40 plus millimeters cubed per square which is a lot a lot it's gonna print super fast it's gonna extrude so fast and it can heat up to 350 degrees celsius it's a tri-metal nozzle integrated with heat break. Can't wait to get my hand on this thing. Well, that wraps up this video of me checking out Creative's K2 Plus, the filament system. I didn't talk that much about the filament system, but yeah, we all know. We put the filament in there, it retracts, extrude, we get more color printing, amazing. And the, and the 3v3 just released, they did announce a price on that, but the K2 Plus, they haven't announced a price on it. So hopefully it's under a thousand dollar, nine hundred dollar under is even better. But hopefully it's a under a thousand bucks. And yeah, oh my gosh, this is gonna be an exciting year, man! I can't wait. But yeah, that'll be it for today's video. And thank you so much for watching. As always, keep on three D printing.